What's up guys, More Medic One here, and today, of course, we're working on an HT-133. This is the extendable pole pruner that has the little chainsaw head at the end down there. And the issue is when you give it gas and you pull the throttle, the head, the chain doesn't spin. I'm gonna show you what the issue is and how to fix it. Now, this is the newer style with the Instead of the pole being round, it's hex shaped. It's got six sides. And uh, supposedly this is supposed to be stronger. Alrighty guys, so when you crank the engine and you're giving it throttle, everything's working up to this point right here. So let me go ahead and pop the, uh, the, the chainsaw portion of this trimmer off. Just two bolts right here. You can't twist it back and forth because it's on a, uh, a hex here so it's a little bit more difficult to get off than some of the other models and if we take a look we can see the male portion of the drive spur or drive spud and it is splined and the splines are good however if we take a look at the end of the drive tube assembly here we can see that the splines are just spun out. So here is the adjuster or the clamp that holds the shaft. For, uh, you loosen this to extend the pole here. So just go ahead and unscrew that from the collar here and just take it completely off. As we can tell, the spline shaft doesn't just pull out. It would make our world a whole lot easier if it did. However, what we need to do, we need to get this outer shaft out, but it is caught at, when it gets to the end, it catches on this collar right here, which is broken, but we'll have to replace this as well. It's already got a split in it. So what we have to do, and I've already started doing it, is it's got two rivets. It's got one rivet here and one rivet here. And drill these two rivets out and then slide this collar down. Slide this collar down. And now we should be able to just pull this shaft all the way out. Here's the end of our spline that's eat out, as we can tell. And there it is right there. And the reason it won't come out is because it's got a uh, snap ring around the shaft there. So we know that the shaft is eat out right here. And we also know that this spline extends all the way down the shaft to where if it will focus please that spline goes all the way down the shaft to the other end just this aluminum shaft is over one hundred dollars i'm going to show you a hack that I've been doing for years, even on the HT-101s. And before you do this hack, which works flawless, let your customer know that he's gonna have about six inches less reach because we are gonna go to the chop saw and we're gonna cut this back about six inches and we're gonna cut the end of his main drive tube off about six inches.
this method works particularly well whenever you have a a shaft that's just bent at the end i've seen i've actually cut these back you know quite a bit to get past the dog leg that the customer has put in as we can tell now that we have our splines back since we cut off just a little bit i've already done a test fit and it does fit as we can tell here Everything's good to go. Just need to reassemble. Slide the shaft back onto the main drive shaft. And you'll be pushing against the spring, but that's okay. As you can tell, it wants to to come back out by itself. Then slide your main shaft back on or the actual portion that the cutter head attaches to. This shaft has got just a little bit of bend in it and it's a little bit tight going in and out, but that's all right. As you can tell, we have enough sticking out here, just like it was. I, I meant to mention to you guys, you need to cut this about an inch longer than this shaft. All right, we're gonna slide our collar back over the tube and then we're gonna install two new rivets. All right, we're gonna slide our clutch pack back down the shaft. Give it a tighten just to hold everything in place. And this is the nut that holds the shaft. Whenever you tighten this clutch pack, it squeezes down around this and keeps this from moving. Slide your gear head on, cinch down your screws, and give it a test run. Them keyboard commandos screaming, Oh, more medic! You can't do that! It's gonna void the warranty! It's already out of warranty. Oh, more medic! You can't do that! It's not professional! Hey, more medic! You're not a good mechanic! So? More medic! Why would you show the general public a hack like that? To save them time and money, that's why. Say, those shafts are filled with greasy aluminum dust and they get all over your hands. Wear gloves. If this content helped you out, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, subscribe and hit that bell so you get all my new videos. More Medic One, have a good day.